All right, now that I made all the videos that I wanted to make, let's talk about the Infinity War trailer. Readers, I have made it clear time and time and time again that while I'm definitely going to go see this movie because I expect a return on my 10 year investment, goddammit. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm just not a fan of the MCU's Infinity War narrative. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Thanos as a character, greatly or poorly written. I was never a fan of the Infinity Stones in the comics, nor am I a fan of the changes that the MCU made to other things in the comics in order for them to be Infinity Stones. And with the exception of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, I don't like the fact that the presence of said stones have a habit of forcing MCU movies to force the plot to be about them, which happened in pretty much four out of the 18 movies so far. So when the teaser trailer came out, I legit had things to say about it when it came out, which is why I released my video the same day as the teaser trailer was released. When this one came out about a week ago, uh, not so much. Although there were scenes that I did enjoy, specifically the interaction between Star-Lord and Tony Stark and, and Peter, oh, oh Peter. <laughs> so real talk, I'm so glad that that scene inspired that meme of Doctor Strange explaining to Peter that that's his actual name, like you, you don't, you don't even know. Because I just, I just, I just, I just needed something. Like, because the Eye of Agamotto is not only the Time Stone in the MCU, but Agamotto himself is no longer a deity and is just a regular ass sorcerer who is responsible for founding the Sanctums. MCU Strange is never going to reach the potential power that comic book Strange has proven that he is capable of performing. It also means that when this Disney Fox deal finally finishes up, unless they retcon the shit out of a lot of things, Mads Mikkelsen will never play Doctor Doom. That makes me sad. And despite the toys saying that in the movie he's going to end up with Beta Ray Bill's hammer, from the footage of both the teaser and the full trailers, there's a chance that I'll finally get the Thor that I always wanted to see ever since he was introduced in the MCU. It shouldn't have taken him five movies to get it, opposed to everybody else's two, but whatever, I guess. Readers, my initial thoughts on the first full trailer for Avengers Infinity War, as a person who, while is going to go see it, isn't that stoked for Avengers Infinity War, was pretty much, this trailer's fine. At this point, outside of the few new scenes that they keep adding to these trailers, I don't really have any new thoughts or opinions about this movie. <laughs> You know, outside of just hurry up and release it so I can see if all these creative decisions are going to pay off. And so that I can properly judge whether or not all the changes made to the majority of my favorite Marvel characters just to fit this Infinity War narrative were justified. But if earlier on in this video says anything, I'm not holding my breath. At this point, I'm just rooting for everyone Wakandan. Anyway, readers, your homework assignment for the day. Write in the comment section below what you think of the second trailer for Avengers Infinity War, or if you feel like sharing with the rest of the class, your thoughts on the MCU's Infinity Saga overall. Either way, I'd love to know your thoughts. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, because I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and every other Friday. But until then, this is Redis101. Class dismissed.